On Monday, November 13th, 2017, Westwood had a special town meeting to vote on 16 warrant articles. Here is your Westwood wrap-up. We start off with Article 1. To see if the town will vote to approve the $84,862,768 borrowing authorized by the Blue Hills Regional Technical High School District for the purpose of paying costs of renovating, reconstructing, and making extraordinary repairs to the Blue Hills Regional Technical High School located at 800 Randolph Street in Canton, Massachusetts. All those in favor, please say yes. Opposed, no. It appears to be, and it is, a unanimous vote in favor of Article 1. Article 2, to see if the town will vote to establish under Chapter 40, Section 5B of the Massachusetts General Laws, a new stabilization fund, the Meals Hotel Reserve Fund for the purpose of reserving dedicated funds from local option meals and hotel tax revenues into the fund for future town meeting appropriation and dedicate 100% of local option hotel and 100% of local option meals excise tax revenues into the fund. Seeing and hearing no discussion. And again, a, a requirement two thirds vote. All those in favor, please say yes. 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 Opposed, no. The yeses have it. It's a unanimous vote in favor of Article 2. Article 3, to see if the town will vote to accept Mass Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40, Section 13E, to establish a reserve fund known as the Special Education Reserve Fund for the purpose of reserving funds to be used in the upcoming fiscal years to pay without further appropriation for unanticipated or unbudgeted costs of special education out of district tuition or transportation. All those in favor of Article 3, please say yes. yes. Opposed, no. It is a unanimous vote in favor of Article 3. Article 4, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or borrow and or transfer a sum of money to pay for the design of sidewalk improvements along Gay Street and other locations to be submitted to the Complete Streets Program. Tonight's article is to, to appropriate monies to fund the design and the design only. I don't think you'd be, we, this would not be a priority of the town if we didn't have the money available. And I wince as they go by. Uh, school kids do jog. The high school cross country teams go down. Bicycle riders go down. It's a very, it's already being used very dangerously by a lot of people in the town who want to enjoy it. You know, one of the things that's really important to me about Westwood is that, that unlike some of the towns in the area, it retains more of a country feel, and I think neighborhoods like Gay Street are, are a big part of that with the open fields, the trees, and the stone walls. It's not just about getting to school. Kids want a bike and giving them the opportunity to have a safe way to be healthy and get exercise is, I think, one of the things this town can do. So I ask everybody to please support this uh, warrant. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. It is a majority vote in favor. <laughs> Article 5. To see if the town will vote to approve certain amendments to the Westwood Zoning Bylaw to add definitive caps on the number of residential dwelling units which may be constructed in flexible multiple use overlay districts 6 and 7 by amending section 9.5. An amendment to this article was proposed to change the number 90 to the number 35. However, to properly amend a zoning article, uh, particularly with an amendment that has not gone through the public hearing that the article itself went through, there are certain restrictions. It's my opinion that the amendment is beyond the scope of the article. And so the amendment was defeated. Moving on to discussion, so if you think of a two-story building, one story could be a commercial use, the other story could be a residential use. Both stories could not be residential, but both stories could be commercial. You go down to Roach Street, you have 90 units, the, part, the, the traffic will be terrible. And um, I just can't understand how the fire department would allow this. The yes vote was 144. The no vote was 112. Article five is defeated. Article 6, coming on a citizen's petition article to see if the town will vote to rescind the vote 
taken on Article 29 at the annual town meeting on May 2nd, 2016. Um, the FinCom votes indefinite postponement in instances where um, they are voting no on the underlying substance of the article or there may not be enough information to, um, to vote yes. And in this instance, we look to the FinCom's recommendation for an explanation of the FinCom's vote. Coming before town meeting on the um, Finance and Warrant Commission's um, recommendation that the town um, confirm its vote on indefinite postponement and a, a majority vote required. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no. no. The vote is 136 yes, 94 no. This is a majority vote, so um, the motion for indefinite postponement passes. Article 7. To see if the town will vote to amend the Westwood Town Bylaw 138-17 by deleting sections F, G, and H in their entirety and replacing it with primary vote of town meeting shall be by electronic voting. This comes before town meeting on the Finance and Warrant Commission's unanimous vote recommending that the town vote indefinite postponement. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. It is a majority vote in favor of uh, approving the motion for indefinite postponement. Article 8. To see if the town will vote to raise, appropriate, and transfer from any available funds in the Treasury the sum of $20,000 to purchase an electronic voting system for use at town meeting with 350 handheld units or take any other action thereon. This comes before town meeting on the Finance and Warrant Commission. Vote, unanimous vote recommending that the town vote indefinite postponement. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. no. It is a majority vote in favor. Article 9. To see if the town will vote to amend the Westwood Town Bylaw 138-15D, 1, by inserting the following language after the wording. Considered the main motion excluding citizen petitions. This comes before town meeting on the Finance and Warrant Commission's vote of 12 in favor and two opposed to recommend that the town vote indefinite postponement. Clearly, its purpose is to serve as a mechanism to simplify our voting procedure here by calling for an up or a down, either a yes or a no vote. Undeniably, it's the term indefinite postponement that creates the confusion. And if a person goes through all the effort to write an article on his or her own rather than a board's article and then not be able to speak first, that is not fair to the petitioner. The petitioner should be able to speak first. And after a standing vote. The yes vote was 90, the no vote was 112, indefinite postponement fails. So at this time, there would need to be a motion. Um, I make a motion to move the article, is that? To approve the article. Okay, and that needs a second. Okay. We do believe that there is sometimes confusion about what a vote for indefinite postponement is. Sometimes it means that we think the article is bad for the town. Sometimes it may mean that we think the article before us is premature in some way. By a vote of 123 yes and 74 no, the motion does not carry. There is not a two-thirds vote in favor. So Article 9 is defeated. Article 10, um, to see if the town will vote to approve certain amendments to the Westwood Zoning Bylaw related to permitting cafeterias, snack bars, gift shops, and vending machines as accessory uses in the Highway Business Zoning District by amending Section 4.3.1. So if there's no definition of care, uh, cafeteria, I don't know how we can vote on this. Please vote no. By a vote of yes, 101, no, 36, the two-thirds requirement is met and Article 10 passes. So we're going to move along to Article 11. 
to see if the town will vote to approve certain amendments to the Westwood zoning bylaw related to various medical uses by amending section two definitions and section 4.1.2 table of principal uses. I was wondering if someone could explain why that change is proposed. Is there somebody petitioning for a ch change to, for something that's administrative or research to become a substance rehabilita rehabilitation or treatment facility? So the planning board's proposal is to only allow the um, higher intensity uses, which is the hospital and the rehab facility, um, only by special permit um, in the ARO zoning district. That's what the BA stands for, is special permit issued um, by the Zoning Board of Appeals. By adding the definition and setting a specific zone, and in this case, the planning board's recommended the administrative research office zones, by setting a specific zone, you limit applications to those zones only. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. It is a two-thirds vote in favor of Article 11. Article 12, to see if the town will vote to approve certain housekeeping amendments to various sections of the Westwood zoning bylaw and official zoning map as may be necessary to correct errors on or inconsistencies and clarify sec such sections. All those in favor of Article 12, please signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. It is a two-thirds vote in favor of Article 12. Article 13, to see if the town will vote to accept Chapter 41, Section 110A of the Massachusetts General Laws. This requires a majority vote. The Finance and Warrant Commission unanimously recommends that the town so vote. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. It's a unanimous vote in favor of Article 13. Article 14. To see if the town will vote to amend section 184-10, licensing dogs worrying, maiming, or killing livestock of the town bylaws by adding section 184-10. Um, all those, and again, requiring a two-thirds vote. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and article 13, 14 passes with a two-thirds majority. Two-thirds vote. Article 15, to see if the town will vote to accept as town ways the streets listed below as laid out by the selectmen. Um, Thompson Avenue Westview Estates subdivision as a town way. Again, requiring a two-thirds vote. All those in favor of uh, approving Article 15 say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, two-thirds vote. Article 16, to see if the town will vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to execute a grant of location and easement across a portion of town land known as Assessor's Map 22, Lot 052 on Clapboard Tree Street for the purpose of a five-foot sidewalk connection from the property at 789 Clapboard Tree Street to the Mercer property in Norwood, which crosses over approximately 50 feet of a town-owned and undeveloped lot. Seeing no discussion, and again requiring a two-thirds vote, all those in favor of Article 16, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Uh, the ayes have it, and a two-thirds vote in favor of Article 16. Many thanks to you. Happy holidays, and I need a motion to adjourn. Second. We stand adjourned. Thank you, everyone.